A common problem when tone stretching stacked astrophotography images is gradients. Extreme tone stretching will bring out differences in the background tones, perhaps due to light pollution, sky glow, moon illumination, or other factors. Affinity Photo has a very intuitive filter that can be used to remove these background gradients. Do bear in mind that this tutorial will only cover this specific filter. Don't forget to check out the full length workflow videos on astrophotography stacking if you want to learn how to make the most of photos stacking and retouching features. Let's start with this image, which was shot in my back garden. Now, despite using a clip in filter to reject unwanted wavelengths, some extreme tone stretching has brought out a gradient here, which I suspect is due to the street lighting just outside of my house. So across on the layers stack, you'll see I've done some work on this document already. What we now need to do is go to layer and merge visible. This will create a merged pixel layer of the layer work so far. Then I'll just rename this to stay organized. So on our pixel layer, we now want to apply the remove background filter found under the filters menu and the astrophotography category. So how this filter works is that you are presented with one sampler node to begin with, and I might just drag this to the top left corner. Try and pick an area where there is no star detail. Once the sampler is in place, you can now check sample color at handle, and it will create the gray, red, green, and blue color values by averaging the values around that sampler. So now to tackle our gradient in the bottom right corner, we want to zoom in, try and find a neutral area with no star detail, then single click again to create a second sampler node. Okay, so now if we just fit to screen using Command-0 on Mac or Control-0 on Windows, you'll see we have effectively neutralized our gradient. And to confirm this, we can do a quick split view comparison down here where we can see the before and the after. Now, because the background tones are being subtracted to pure black, we might not find this very visually pleasing. So we can start to raise the output black level using this slider here until we start to lift these tones particularly away from pure black. So we can just find a value that works without washing out the entire image. And once we're happy, we can just click apply. And that's basically all there is to it. My advice would be to only add in samplers where you actually need them. If you start adding in additional samplers, just for the sake of trying to cover all four corners, you may actually introduce unwanted gradients. I can just get rid of this sampler node by using delete on the keyboard. It jumps back to the third node I added here, which I can also delete. And now I'm just back to my two nodes here. I can now click apply. And with my gradient neutralized, I could now continue to work further on this image. As well as gradients, we can also use this filter to neutralize or subtract a more straightforward background. We may sometimes want to do this instead of using techniques like a channel mixer adjustment to balance the red, green, and blue channels, because doing so might lose interesting detail in the deep sky objects themselves, especially if you're working with a modified camera body to expose more hydrogen alpha signal, for example. So once again, we will go to layer and merge visible. Just rename this layer to stay organized. Then go to Filters, Astrophotography, Remove Background. I only need one sampler node for this image, so let's move it somewhere around here where there is no star detail. Check sample color at handle, then raise the output black level until we just start to lift those tones away from pure black, like so, and click Apply. So now if I just hide this layer, you can see previously we had this blue tint or color cast to the background tones, and now we can neutralize them entirely without compromising any of the deep sky object detail. 
So there we go. That was a nice quick video on how to use the astrophotography remove background filter. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.